Good evening, I'm Mallory Maddox. And I'm John Nicely. Tonight we have a story you'll only see on six, an interview with two men who gave their best to try to save lives. It was the crash this weekend that killed four sorority sisters from Creighton University. All four women died, two young men driving on the same road tell our Brandon Scott they stopped to do everything they could. It's upsetting, hard to deal with, but just my thoughts are with their families. Matthew Shane and his friend Dustin Harris still can't fully comprehend the horrific tragedy they witnessed as they tried to save the lives of four Creighton University sorority sisters. They say the scene of Saturday night's accident was gruesome. It looked like something out of a horror movie. The men were driving on Highway 77 south of Beatrice, traveling from Kansas back to their homes in Iowa, when just a few hundred feet in front of them, the vehicle carrying the Creighton students encountered a deer, swerved into oncoming traffic, and was hit broadside by an SUV. Crazy, like it blew my mind how it just, the, like it split it right down the middle. Like, the back half of it was laying separate from the front half of it. Shane and Harris, along with two other passing motorists, rushed to help. One of the victims, 21-year-old Jennifer Guzman, was trapped by her seatbelt. And I said, hey, we need to cut that seatbelt. So my friend got in there and he held her head up. I held the roof up and the guy got in there and cut the seatbelt and we let her down real slow. Finally freed from her seatbelt, Shane and Harris say Guzman took her final breath. Even though their heroic efforts were in vain, they want the families of Guzman, Aquel Majuk, Yoselin De Leon, and Mariana Ramirez to know that these four young women didn't die alone. I want them to know that we were, we were there, we were right there with them. We did everything we could and we tried to help them. And we are live at Creighton University, where again, all four victims were students. One graduated just last year. The other three were students here in the business school. And John and Mallory, we uh, found out today the family of Jennifer Guzman is planning a memorial service that's here on the Creighton campus Thursday morning at 10 a.m. at St. John's Church. Yeah, Brandon, uh, such a tragic accident. And are they confident that it was a deer on the road that caused all of this? Uh, yes, John, they are. Investigators are very confident that uh, these young women tried to swerve to avoid a deer. In fact, the young men that I spoke to today said that they saw that deer. They saw the deer on the side of the road. It looked like it had been hit. Now, almost all of us here in Nebraska have had a close encounter with a deer at one point or another. And at 630, I'll tell you what wildlife experts say you should do if you ever encounter a deer on the road. All right. Thank you. That's Brandon Scott reporting live. Well, let's take a